continuing with the chapter of uh, intermolecular forces now let's focus on phase diagram these phase diagram uh, deal with the change of phase or the change of state solid liquid or gas with and how it depends on pressure and temperature so we will start by looking how a phase diagram looks the phase diagram looks the way we have shown over there it is a uh, graph between pressure and temperature and uh, i've written the pressure in terms of atmosphere and temperature let it be in degrees celsius and you can see that it has got three distinct uh, parts divided into one is a solid and liquid and gas and also there are two more points one called as a critical point where the distinction between a liquid or a gas or a solid doesn't exist and there is another point called as a triple point where all the three states solid liquid and gas exist in equilibrium so now what is more important in this phase diagram is consider the pressure one atmosphere so if i draw a line from uh, at one atmosphere and look at the point where the solid changes into liquid and that temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid is called as the melting point similarly if i extend the line and take it to the point where the liquid becomes a gas so that temperature becomes the boiling point and then and the all these things happen at one atmosphere so basically what is a phase diagram gives us it is a combination of pressure and temperature and it governs the state of any substance so because if you look at the phase diagram you realize that low temperature and high pressure usually favors the solid state and uh, I, if the pressure is low temperature is high it's possible that it has it will be in the gas state and the temperature at one atmosphere pressure when the solid becomes a liquid we call as the melting point and the temperature uh, at one atmospheric pressure when the liquid becomes a gas we call that as the boiling point now let's look at the phase diagram of water so if i look at the the same thing here also it's divided into three parts solid liquid and uh, gas or vapor and at one atmosphere when i draw a line the solid liquid trans uh, transition gives me the the temperature corresponding to it is the melting point similarly when it goes from la uh, vapor uh, liquid to vapor state that temperature corresponds to the boiling point so this is what we saw in the previous case also so but how is it different from the normal phase diagram so let's look at the phase diagram of other compounds so and compare the phase diagram of water with that so when i look at the two diagrams you realize that the solid liquid line in water is a negative slope whereas all the other compounds have a positive slope slope so what does this lead to the increase in pressure in case of water it leads to the liquid phase this is a anomalous property of water because all the compounds when you increase the pressure it favors the solid state but this is the only compound in which the increase in pressure favors the liquid phase and uh, this is the property of water or ice makes you slip on ice or enables you to skate similarly as we said before also the temperature at one atmosphere pressure is the uh, uh, when uh, the solid becomes a liquid is a melting point and that at when the liquid becomes a vapor is the boiling point so more important you have to notice is the in case of water the solid liquid line has a negative slope now some questions based on this phase diagram so a phase diagram a diagram is given to you so in this we want you to identify the process the name of the process when one goes from point a to point b so when you look at from point a to b you can see that the transition is from solid state to gas state or vapor state so and this process whenever you change from solid to gas we call it as deposition so one more question based on the phase diagram 
So we have uh, a question is what happens when pressure is decreased from point A at constant temperature. So you can see the line given over there. So when I and I can see that first it uh, it starts as a solid then becomes a liquid and then it becomes a gas. Therefore the process is fusion in the beginning and then evaporation. Now answer the question that follows based on the phase diagram given over there. The first is what is the melting point? So melting point we always look at one atmospheric pressure and when it transfers from solid to liquid and that temperature if I from the graph I can say that it is approximately 70 degrees Celsius. Then the next question is what is the boiling point? Same way extend the one atmospheric line where it changes from liquid to gas and that temperature if you draw a line it comes to say approximately 150 degree celsius so the next question is uh, what is the approximate pressure at triple point again draw a line from the triple point to the pressure so and you could see that it is less than one atmospheric pressure and then uh, the state it can exist at room temperature Room temperature is around 35 degrees Celsius or 25 to 30, so that it can exist as a gas or a solid depending on the pressure. The last one, find out the critical temperature of the compound. So draw a line from the critical temp uh, point to the temperature axis and I can say that it is approximately 170 degrees Celsius.